Hi guys sports here news briefs. Lionel Messi strikes private agreement to bypass strict MLS rule. Aston Villa boss Emery tells fans, let's enjoy our ECL group. Greenwood makes online Man United move. Arsenal captain Odegaard, Man United a good test for us. How Man City could line up with Mateus Nunes. Chelsea defender Thiago Silva tells fans, blame me if you need to. Mudrick agent blundered choosing Chelsea over Arsenal. Now the news in detail. Lionel Messi, strikes private agreement, to bypass strict MLS rule. Lionel Messi has reportedly struck up a, private agreement, to partially bypass a strict MLS rule while he is at Inter Miami. The 36-year-old has already made great waves since arriving in the United States, helping his new club to win the League's Cup last month. He then scored on his MLS debut against New York Red Bulls last Saturday. Remarkably, Wednesday's 0-0 draw at home to Nashville, Messi's first league game at his new home stadium, was the first time he failed to score or assist in his first 11 matches. But he has also been allowed to toe the line slightly when it comes to some of the MLS rules. While Inter Miami fans may have been disappointed not to see their star player on the scoresheet on Saturday, Messi has brought great success to the club thus far. One such rule is that players must be made available to conduct post-match interviews with the league's media team, or broadcast partner Apple TV. Another rule is that, before and after training sessions, players must be made available for 15 minutes each for content creation opportunities and interviews. The Daily Mail reported that Messi broke that rule after the draw against Nashville by not speaking to reporters after the match despite a request being put in for the Argentinian to do so. But in a statement to The Athletic, an MLS spokesperson confirmed that there has been a misunderstanding over Messi's media access and that he has not violated any league rules in that regard. It is claimed that Messi and his representation have their own arrangement with the league and Inter Miami, though the full details of this arrangement remain unclear, with a source claiming that the arrangement is a work in progress. The forward did, however, conduct an interview with Apple TV, via a translator, after his debut against Cruz Azul last month, indicating that he may well take up media duties in future when it is deemed suitable to do so. Aston Villa boss Emery tells fans, let's enjoy our ECL group. Aston Villa boss Unai Emery is happy with their Europa Conference League group draw. Villa will face AZ Alkmaar. Ledger Warsaw and HS Zeringski in Group E. Of course, we have respect for them, our opponents, he said. Firstly, we wanted not a lot of difficulty in our travel to different countries. I think it's good. Then, the teams, they're different teams. AZ Alkmaar last year played against West Ham in the semi-finals in this competition. They're a team with experience as well in Europe. We are going to enjoy, we are going to respect, we are going to try to do our way, being with our supporters, excited to do something in this competition. Greenwood makes online Man United move. Mason Greenwood has wiped all references to Manchester United on his Instagram account. Greenwood signed for Getafe on loan for the season on Friday. The forward will see the majority of his wages paid by United, but he has wiped the Red Devils' name from his bio despite still technically being under contract at United for another two years. A source close to Greenwood told The Sun, Mason wants to make a new beginning. He's looking forward to rebuild. Arsenal captain Odegaard, Man United a good test for us. Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard says today's clash with Manchester United will be a good barometer for where they stand. In his match programme notes today, the midfielder declared, it's always a big one against Manchester United, and we always love to play in these games, especially in front of our supporters here at the Emirates. I remember the game here last season so clearly, the atmosphere was incredible. We're excited to be back here and we know it will be another big test against United. 
They have a coach with a very clear idea of how he wants to play, what he wants from his team, and they will obviously be determined to kick on from last season too. How Man City could line up with Mateus Nunes. There is a sense that nobody quite knows whether Manchester City are stronger or weaker than they were last season when they won the treble. The Sky Blues have lost a number of key assets. Ilkay Gundogan, Reid Mahrez, Joao Cancelo and Americ Laporte have all departed, but Pep Guardiola and his recruitment team have been busy locating top quality replacements. Mateus Nunes is the latest of those, joining the likes of Josko Jadiel, Mateo Kovacic and Jeremy Doku at the Etihad Stadium. Gundogan's departure and Kevin De Bruyne's long-term injury means there should be plenty of opportunities afforded to the young Portuguese central midfielder. Where he will fit into this star-studded city side is another question, and one that Guardiola needs to answer. Chelsea defender Thiago Silva tells fans, blame me if you need to. Chelsea defender Thiago Silva has had an exchange with fans online after defeat to Nottingham Forest. Thiago is being blamed by some fans for Anthony Alanga's winner yesterday. In reply to the post on Instagram, Silva said, If you look closely at the game, we are playing with a line of four my friend. But there's no problem in assuming that I'm also responsible for the defeat. Put the pressure on me, thumbs up emoji asterisk, no problem yesterday. Mudrick agent blundered choosing Chelsea over Arsenal. William Gallus says Mihalo Mudrick should never have joined Chelsea in January. Mudrick also had an offer from Arsenal, but chose Chelsea as he was leaving Shakhtar Donetsk. Last season one said Mudrick was going to regret signing for Chelsea because I thought Arsenal was the club for him to express himself. I don't know if it was his choice, the choice of his agent to go to Chelsea, or maybe Shakhtar's choice, Gallus, who played for both clubs, told Gambling Zone. I saw him at the beginning of the season and he was looking good, and I thought he was going to have a great season but I don't know what has happened, why he is always on the bench and why he doesn't get the opportunities. I feel sad for the players when they are in that situation. Right now, if you are talking about Mudrick, his agent didn't take the right decision in bringing him to Chelsea. Most of the players who joined Chelsea were ready to play and if it was difficult at the beginning they adapted very well. That shows you the people who were working to bring players knew what they were doing. Right now it is a bit different. For more sports news please visit our Twitter handle or YouTube channel Sportsia.